Hi, this is the video for Oxford academics who want to migrate their websites to Oxford's web space. So I don't know if you know, but every person who has Oxford email uh, can actually get the web space at Oxford domains. So particularly if you are an academic that works for the university, then you can uh, put your own website with basically Oxford address. To do that, you go to this link on IT help and I'll put it into the description first. Then following the guidelines, so first of all, you need to activate your web space account. You just follow these instructions on the website and then you need to activate your shell account, which also very easy and you just need to follow the instructions on the website. So I will be showing in this video how to migrate your actual files uh, from your laptop to your web space, the, the one that you have created. So if you follow all of these instructions in the tab one and tab two, that is activating your web space account and activating your Linux shell account, and then you will have your uh, web space on this address. So it's on users.ox.ac.uk slash and this interesting sign, <laughs> I forgot the name, and your username. So in my case, my username is SFOS300. Uh, so basically I need to go to this address users.alexoacuk at SFOS300 uh, and I'll get to the space. So after you already have registered, you will see basically the same thing you'll see this page with the parent directory and without anything in it. So my goal right now is that I want to migrate a simple web page that I have created for a collaboration project from my laptop to this web space that I have uh, opened uh, on Oxford domains. So to do this, uh, what what do I do? First of all, you need to have the website already created and you need to know the uh, link to that on your laptop. And from now on in this tutorial, I'm going to show how we migrate all those files into the web space on Oxford. So first of all, we need to check if we can actually connect to that web space. And to do that, you go to the Mac terminal. So this tutorial is for Mac users. Uh, you SSH to your username. In my case is SFOS 300 and at Linux OX AC UK. It will require your password and you use your Oxford password. After you connect, you will see already this handle. So in my case, it's my username at Raven. And if you check the directory, you will see that there are two folders. One is CGI and the other one is public HTML. And public HTML, that's the folder where we need to migrate all the website files. So at the moment it is empty. And the same you can see in the address that I showed before, right? So it shows the uh, parent directory is empty. So next step is to open another terminal. And we're gonna use this uh, command, which is called secure copy, SCP. So it's SCP, the command. You use it recursively. So recursively, it means to copy all the uh, files within a folder. Then you need to show the path to the folder where your uh, files for your website are. So in my case, it's this long path on my laptop to a folder that is called website, which contains all the website um, 
files, including the style files like CSS and images. And then you need to uh, put your address to, to one that we have connected before. That's your username at linux.ox.ac.uk. And then uh, after a colon, you have to specify this folder name, the one which is public uh, un underscore HTML. And that's where we're going to be copying all the files. So run this program. And it will requi require the password again, you just enter the password. So right now it sh shows copying and you see a lot of files just because I have the GitHub over there as well. And if we go back to the connected the server, right, uh, we can see if we have copied all the files into here. When we ran the ls command before, nothing was there, so it showed that the folder is empty. So if we run it right now, we see that the website folder is in this uh, in this public HTML folder. If we go to the address itself and refresh it, we will see that the website has appeared over here as well. But we don't see the file, the web page, the one that I have created over here yet. The reason is uh, because I put everything inside of this website folder and not within the public HTML. So that means that I need to migrate the website files from within this folder into the parent folder, which is public HTML. So to do that, I go to, uh, so let, let me CD into website. And let's see, what do we have here? So we have um, uh, CSS, image, index, HTML, uh, and license. So basically what I need to do is copy maybe all files to there. So permission denied because I didn't use sudo. And I need to put the recursive because I have uh, folders as well. And sudo is not working, I wonder why. Okay, because we don't have uh, permissions as administrator, as root, and sudo is not working. I think I'm gonna use another way. So we're gonna be copying each of those um, folders and files separately into the parent direc directory, into the public HTML. So let's open the previous one. And basically it's the same idea, but So over here, just not just website, right? We let's put the style files, which are in my case in the CSS folder, and let's copy into the public HTML. You need to again enter your password. Okay, it looks like it's copied. Let's see. So great, I have. Oh no, this is. This is, I'm in website, I need to go into the parent one, so it's public. I got the CSS copied, great. Now I need to do the same for image file, image folder and the index file. So right now let's copy the image folder. Uh, let's see if it copied. So yes, I have the image folder over here as well. And let's copy the index HTML file into parent folder. And let's see if it's there. Okay, now it should be uh, theoretically working if I run it over here. So I need to refresh this 
uh, uh, this address and see if it's working and it is working so right now I have my website on the Oxford address so it's users.oxacuk and with my username the same you can do with your own website as well thank you